We have a special guest here today, which is Tony Sly, or as you would call, T Sly. Yeah, what's up? Peace, lie. Okay, well, thank you so much for, for joining us today. Uh, and, you know, I, I know you'll be busy. Um, I heard some of your music, and I, I really like it. So uh, we're going to get I appreciate to appreciate it. So in this interview, we're going to get to know you. So my first question for you is, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Youngstown, Ohio, uh, south side of Youngstown, Ohio. Okay. So, how was it like growing up there? Uh, uh, uh it's, it's rough here, you know. Oh, it's rough wow. here, but it's just typical, you know. The the same everywhere it's at. It's a ghetto, you know. It, mm -hmm. It's just a lot of stuff going on in 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 the inner city of Youngstown. But other than that, it's, uh, regular, you know. Okay. So when did you um so what what first got you into music? Uh what first got me into music, uh my brother, his name Big Red, he passed away. Uh, oh Lord. Okay. Sorry about that. He's yeah. yeah, he passed away in like 2012 or something like that. I went to prison and uh when I came back home, I knew that's what my brother wanted me to do. So that, that's that's what I was on, like, you know, just trying to make him happy and, you know, proud of me yeah, and that shape. Okay, so that, so this, you probably kind of answered uh, the question to my, my next question is, who inspired you to make music? So you, you know, you did yeah. talk about your brother. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so how would you describe the music that you um, typically create? Uh, it's really like, I'm an uh, entertainer, like an artist, so I make all different kind of music, but I really, you know, be into it like, like, uh, you know, same thing T.I. is, like a trap rapper, yeah, uh, you know, for the streets and stuff like that, but uh, just speaking like my reality and things I've seen, my farm, my hair all everywhere, <laughs> things I've seen and stuff like that, like, you know. Yeah, that's, that's what I love. Okay, okay, that's what's up. So, um, what is your creative process like? Uh, what you mean, like defining like to the music? Yeah, so like when you get ready to, you know, make a make a song or hit record. So, what do you? So, what's your process like? Do you write first? Do you come up? Did you, you get the beat first? And then you come up with the writing. What's your process? How do you come up with your uh, beat record? Uh, I um, uh, I listen. I gotta have a beat first. You gotta yeah. have a banging beat first, you know. Right. And then uh, some. It depends on like if it's a deep song. Like if 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 I want to be deep or something like that, I write. But uh, majority of the stuff I've been doing been uh freestyle, like straight off the top of the head. I hear the beat and. It just do something to me, so I go in there and and I make a hit, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who would but, you most? Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Okay, who go would ahead. you who who would you most likely collaborate with? In in, in in the industry or like just period. And just whoever, like uh, celebrity or non celebrity, like who would you or. More than likely, celebrity. Like, who would you uh, more than likely collaborate with? What type of artist? Well, I think like from from the like the way I make my music, uh, Gucci Man. He's a uh, that's like one of my favorite rappers. You know, he a reality he a reality rapper. Like he can right. tell you like what's going on right now and what's what's you know what I'm saying in the making. So. Like him, uh, there's a lot of people I love to work with. Though mm -hmm. I did a lot of stuff, I did a lot of stuff already. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple artists on my uh, mixtape already, but uh, okay. yeah, Gucci, Gucci would be a big yeah. That's yeah. like my dog. That's 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 like the bro. Okay. I thought you was gonna <laughs> say like little baby and let like little dirt. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's you know, 
it's a lot of it's a lot of people I would love to work with, but like little baby, I don't feel like he relates to what I've he never been yeah. a pre, you know what I'm saying? He never been through what I've been through, like pertaining like Gucci Man been through what I've been through. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like so it, 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 that's it, why I said him, but little baby and you know, I'm making fire music. Right, All right. Making fire music. Right now, I'm in the middle of uh uh, debuting my um, podcast. It's called Big Stepper Talk. I saw uh, that. I saw that. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, it looks like they're going to be hot. So uh, I'm excited for you. Um, that looks like they're going to be, you're going to be doing real well with that. Uh, I yeah, I see it. yeah. I appreciate that. I got uh, my, co- my co-host, uh, Tim Overman. He's with me too. Like uh, we got a we got a lot of this stuff going on. We're doing the web series right now. It's called okay. uh, The Streets Ain't Safe. Yeah. The Streets Ain't Safe. This is my co-host. It's my co-host right here. His name is okay. Tom. Hi, nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you. Um, the thing is, like, it's, it's um, the internet is, like, banging right now. So, like, it's like, if you don't capitalize on the internet and social media, you, you know, you're missing out because, like, Right. Uh, a lot of people listen to podcasts and like, uh, like because of every, I guess ever since social media has really have gotten huge for a lot of people. So um, definitely send out those invites. I definitely would love to join, like to the, the, the be a listener on just to, you know, to hear like, you know, uh, what your definitely. podcast is about. And like, uh, I can also share, like help share, like the message, share the podcast because it can get, the message can get across to a lot of different people, even if they're not reachable. So, and um, I understand when you're talking about collaborating with Gucci Man, um, and it seems like the reason you say you would like to collaborate him because you're more relatable in music. Right. So, and I can under understand that. Not that you're taken away from other artists, but you prefer to uh, collaborate with artists that are you know that can relate to what you've been through. So the uh, struggle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We've been through we we going through the most right now, you know what I'm talking about. So uh just everything, man. That that man talk about a lot. Uh little baby talk about a lot too, though. Yeah. So when you say a little baby, you must like little baby. Huh? I love little baby. I love the baby. <laughs> I love the dirt. Uh, those are oh lord. I love that's those. another one I would like to work with. Like yeah, the boys like, are hot boys. like right now. Um yeah, so yeah, so what do you think about the artists that all these artists, rappers that are in like that has made it in the game that's getting arrested nowadays and getting all these Rico charges? What do you think about that? Do you think do you think it's um is this like a lot of this just happening or you just think they're being targeted because they're rappers? Actually, uh I've been through that same thing that Thug is going through, like been charged, you know what I'm saying, under uh, not the RICO Act, but like the uh, the state RICO Act, like pertaining to music, you know? Wow. And, uh, and I just feel like they target, like the people, like the police, they just target on rappers because they feel like they they, they, they can see the light that they're right. living, like, oh, it's guns in their video. Or it's weed, it's, it's it, and then they, they talk about shooting, and they talk about this. But necessary, they don't, I mean, you know, they don't necessarily got to be doing all doing that. It, yeah. You know, like me, like me, certain, like, I rap about stuff that I done been through, you know what I'm saying? Not stuff that I'm doing right now, I'm trying to change everything, Who like, it, everything. I have my own uh, LLCs, uh, Big Red Records, LLC. Okay. And uh big red stuff like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think when I think That's of my... when you say big red, I think about big red uh and the temptation. No, what's no yeah, the yeah, five, yeah, yeah. Was it the temptation of the five hard beats? Five, five hard beats, five hard beats. Yeah, big yeah. red record. Big red. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. so that I think yeah. yeah, that's that's major though for like you to from, like come from your struggle and to you know. Um, just accomplished so much like what you're doing now so it looks like you're you are uh, dedicated like to your craft and like just wanted to uh, you know prove people wrong you know a lot of people that you know we go through things and we make mistakes nobody's perfect but 
uh, the, the best thing about it is that you're trying to move forward and, you know, trying to do what's best for you. And like you said, honor your brother's wishes of what he would want you to do. So uh, congratulations to you on that. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of struggle right now because, you know, the little city that I'm in, I'm in Youngstown, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So it, it's not a lot of recognition down here. You know what I'm saying? But I uh, just got thank a, God I for platforms. <laughs> right. Thank God for platforms. Right? right. That's why I'm trying to build my platform for the people in Youngstown so I can, you know, like even with my podcast, I want to be able to even you like, you yeah. know, interview you. You yeah, paid way. Just let, yeah, let the people know like what they don't know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's a lot of people that uh pretend to act like they're no they know like the life that I live or the life right. you live or something like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But instead of pretending we could we could we could Talk show you the it. real, you know. Exactly. Yeah, we could really yeah, we could really be in touch. Like right now I got a couple movies going out. Uh shout out to Drew Scott. Uh, okay. Quad Daniels uh, films, all of them. I got a uh, movie called Cam Story. Is uh, it was uh, uh, what's that? The premiere okay. was that movies in Boardman, Ohio. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. I, I I'm just I'm just trying to stay busy. Busy like, working, I'm doing everything. Okay, everything. Hey, man, it's, <laughs> so where would right. the premiere be? Like, uh, is it gonna be like where, it, like a uh, on a movie like, theater. On, maybe on Netflix somewhere, or we like it's gonna be where we can YouTube where we'll be able to see that. The premiere, the premiere actually will be in uh, Austin Town uh, Regal okay. Center, mm -hmm. uh, but. But uh, the movie will be uh, pushed on uh, Tubi and uh, oh, oh, Amazon. Oh. Okay, that's what's up. So, yeah. okay, so if you could open up um, for uh, open up a show for any artist, who would it be? You said if I could open up for any art artist. If, if you could open up, a, if you can open up a show for any artist, yes, who would it be? Right now, at this moment, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's real good because it's a lot of stuff going on right there. I ain't gonna go like I, I was gonna say Dirk. Oh yeah, Dirk. He's gonna bring the city out wherever he at. Wherever he at, he gonna bring the city out. People love Dirk. Yeah, and you know what? I just like the type of dude he is. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He, he ain't nothing to play with. Don't get him twisted. He ain't no softy. But he, he he a man, you know what I'm saying? He know yeah. how to every just because you you know what I'm saying a street nigga don't mean that you got to tell everything that you you know what I'm saying yeah. that you own yeah. or even show that side of you like you could show a better love inside of you and yeah. you know he, he fuck with mess with his girls his kids all that you know yeah. I got kids myself so that's what I'm told in with like you know okay that's what but I'm yeah dirt. Dirk, little baby, any anybody that's gonna bring that crowd. Like yeah. I didn't opened up for a lot of people. Like yeah, a lot of people. Like uh, Gucci, all all of them. I didn't opened up for them. Like, oh well, that's good. Baby, that's all type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, like you open up for, I like to see you open up for like Mozzie. Yeah, Mozzie. Mozzie just got signed to I CMG. Like to that's another uh, record label. Uh, Yo, Gotti and them, they, they doing real good, too. Yeah, I saw like, that. Uh, I saw that. They I was going to say. Uh, some girl. Um, I can't Yeah, say you see he that. gave her that, uh, that yes, chord? That Rolls yes, Royce? Yes, man. man. I ain't going to lie. That dude, Gotti, he, he, he looking out for his artists. Like, yeah. Money Bag Yo is, like, one of the best artists I ever heard. Like, straight oh, up. Yeah. I'm, man, I'm I know. Real. I'm, you know what? It's just like I like Money Bag, yo. And I was like, it just like I'm like, this he's he hot. Like he hot. Everything that he comes that like he raps about, it's like every song is like you want to listen to. And I'm right. like, like, come on, and like I, I don't I'm, gonna lie, like all of his songs is like in the club, like yeah, no matter what, like. You know, yeah. even I mean, he got some slower songs, but yeah, but still, like, got that club, uh, yeah. Still. And that's how I do my music. Like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want nobody to get tired or, yeah, feel, you know what I'm saying. 
when you hear music, I just want your yeah. attention. I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want yeah. you to be rocking with me. Like. And it's and it's cool because like some of the rappers, like it's they like you see this hardcore side of them and then they switch over to like a little slow in it. And I, oh, I yeah, thought yeah. The, I thought the same with YF and Lucci, like he like it's like certain songs that he made right and then right. sometimes he'll come up with like songs for the ladies you know so yeah you, you have to be like as an artist i feel like you have to be able to put your music out there and just be relatable to the people not just for like the guys with girls to listen to as well because like we like right like rap and we like stuff that's you know fun yeah, so that's- you know of course. That's what I'm venturing off to. Like they, everybody, like, oh, why don't you make a song? Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I got songs for the ladies, but they still like gangster yeah. hood songs. You exactly. Know what I'm like, I need like a, a, I need a ride and die. Or yeah. Like, like, that. like yeah, yeah. Like something like that. You know. So it's like, it, I yeah. mean, and once you, you do that, that's gonna change the game for you because like. Yeah. Um, it just sometimes it be just that one hit that you cross over and and you yeah. make it and it's just it's, it's it turns out real huge. So uh, yeah, that's gonna, that'll be huge for you. So, but um, what is one message um, you would give to your fans? Uh, one message that I'll guarantee my fans: how much I'm never gonna stop this. So if you're a fan of mine. Just know I'm gonna keep on coming. Like I just dropped a mixtape. It's called uh, the Trench God, uh, like the God of the Trenches. You know, okay. uh, probably like three days ago. You okay. know, like yeah, like three days. It's on every platform: <clears throat> Amazon, uh, iTunes Music, all that. But what I would guarantee them is I would never stop. And a message to them is like how much I appreciate y'all. Yeah, because without them, like. They like my gas. Like it'd be places I didn't I don't went to Walmart and people be like, oh my God, th- you teach loud, like what's up? I right. send you, you know, they only see me like on Facebook or right. Instagram. Or but to like see that. you in person is like right. I it's different. I'm like, that's him. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that and I live for that, you know what I'm saying? And I really live for that, like kids. But oh my God, I'm, I remember your one video and you was hanging out the car and it, it just take me. So like to my fans, I just want them to know like I'm dedicated to yeah. this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I really, I'm a big name in my city in Youngstown, Ohio. Like I do so much for my city. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's small, but yeah, I, I managed to but get around. Well no, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? That's right. what's up. That's what's up. I so, think you had to do the interview with uh, Notice. That's yes. my girl. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah, interview with Notice. Yeah, shout out to Notice, man. Notice oh, working yeah. too. Yeah, Notice she been doing amazing. this for a while. Yeah, she said that. Yeah, she, uh, she was amazing. It was amazing interviewing her. Like, she just, like... You know what I love about uh, Notice the most? Her energy. Yeah. Like, no, notice, I don't... I don't care <laughs> if you younger than her, or whatever. She go get out that motherfucker and put on the show. Yeah, everywhere she go, you know. Yeah. And I'm the same way. That's how I, you know, like my energy. Like I'm like real, like an energy person. Yeah. Like if the energy ain't right, I, I don't, you know, I don't mess with it. Well, yeah, they got to jump it. They got to yeah. pop. Yeah, but the, the, and the best thing about it, it just seems like you're so passionate about music. Like you're so passionate about it, like what you do. So if you're passionate about That's something true. that you like and that you love, of course you're gonna be in it. You're not like you're not going anywhere. Like you, we're gonna see you from like here's to come. Like it's gonna be, you know, I, I can only see you up from here. Okay, big stepper. Okay, I like big that. Big stepper talk podcast. Yes, I like that. Yeah. I need me one of them shirts. <laughs> What size? What size you wear? I, uh, I got you. Uh, uh, look, I don't want to tell my size. Oh, yeah, text me, text me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I like them shirts. I can't wait. So when when we um okay when are we gonna be able to hear the podcast? Like, what's your uh, we're, uh our uh, debut? Our debut was today. We're gonna launch it like uh within the next forty eight hours. Yeah, the next forty eight hours. Oh wow! Sure. You have to definitely send me the link so I can click on and share this interview because I think. Um, it's gonna be uh, a dope. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be dope. Yeah, it so, is. Um, 
how do you feel the internet has impacted the music industry? Oh, well, they embrace the music industry crazy right now. Right, bro. Like, you know what my big thing is? Networking. Like, networking. Like, they made they made the million, billion, billionaires more touch. Within touch, within like touch. more, you know what I'm saying? I could get more access to them. I could just pick up the phone and call anybody I want off Instagram. Now, if they answer, it's, you know, it's, it's better, of course. But, yeah. <laughs> but even if not, though, like, they still got the message yeah. that, yeah. you know, you was reaching out okay. for music. So I love the internet. Like, yeah. that was the best thing, right? especially for little cities like Youngstown, Ohio, like, we 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 not known like that. Even like when, when I was talking to you and you was like, "What is your Eastern?" Or, and I was trying yeah. to figure it out myself because exactly. I never, right? right. I never. Uh, and that's why we was getting the time. No, like, we're Eastern. We're Eastern time. Yeah, and I'm Central, so it was like. Yeah, she's Central. Even though it was ten o'clock your time, but it's nine my time, so I was like, want to make sure when I put that information in there. I was putting it correct because then we were gonna miss each other. Right. <laughs> so I wanted right. to make sure I get that out of there. Out there. Uh, that's been, we let the uh, people know that we have been supposed to do this interview. It just yeah, been postponed. Yes. You know, thank, a couple thank, times. thank goodness we we were able to get connected today. So I pre like I said, thank you so much for taking out your busy schedule to take this interview with me. I really do appreciate it. And no uh, doubt, I appreciate the same thing. Okay, so um, if it wasn't for music, what would you be doing right now? Uh, um, truth, truthfully, though, I'm into like uh, breeding dogs. Breeding, I breed uh, bullies, African massives. I do a lot of that, but I'm into movies heavy. Like, so it's like this ain't gonna never be out of me, you know? Right, like, right. I, I like that center of attention. I got to be, right? I'm an entertainer, so I, I have to be on that stage. I have to be on that, that screen. I have to, you know, motivate my... I have artists, too. Uh, shout out to Big Red Records. Uh, all of my artists, they they work in uh, Magic, uh, Tyler Queen. Uh, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. And we all work in. Uh, well, that's good. That's what's up. So and, you know um, something that um, something a lot of people don't know about you that people should know is he always been this way. He always been entertained. Since we were kids, he always threw parties and had the brochures printed up. He always was, was organizing events and getting all the homies together for birthday parties and and having ideas on how to make money doing these type of things. And okay. This was I told him since we were in our mid teens, and even when we were in our mid teens, we were this you know small time street thugs. He had these type of ambitions, and he would be talking about it. like uh, we'd just be riding around smoking, talking, and he'd be looking at billboards like you know someday I'm, I'm gonna have my name on the billboard. And I was on the billboard. Oh you know, wow! was on the billboard in our city. You know. He okay. That he brought to fruition that uh, that he's been talking about and manifesting since we were young. So it is it is a good full circle moment for us and seeing it, the, it come together and, and being a part of it with them and and the history behind it. Right, it's a special moment for us all the way around. And he's a natural born entertainer. Like this is right. him. Just, when we were young, he would always impersonate people and like act oh, out. Wow. And do, like, movie impersonations of fame you know he was always a natural actor entertainer life of the party type of guy and now he's he's figured out a way to, to leverage that into a, a career potentially this is this is turning into a, a game-changing transition for him and that's everybody that. around him is bringing it into existence well, that's and i'm not right. going to cut you off my, my father didn't cut you off and i'm the type of dude like if i get on we all know Right. Like, I'm, I'm just letting it be known, like, you know, all of my family going to be straight. Like, all mm -hmm. of my friends, everybody who I, whoever did something for me is going to be straight. So that's why I carry on my back. I carry uh, the whole city on my back, man. As you can see, like, one of my right-hand mans right here next to me, like, he, we starting this podcast. Right. Like, we stand active. 
You know what I'm talking about? We yeah, stand out And shout out to Kid Rich, man. Shout out to Kid Rich. Yeah, shout out to Kid shout Rich, man. Kid right. Rich, uh, exactly yeah, Kid Rich played a Excellent. big Excellent part movie. into uh, everything that I'm doing right now. I mean, Music wise. Like we are artistically. He makes us look like we are. Exactly. He's the man. Kid Rich, uh, he's uh, his entertainment uh, company is Finally Rich ENT. Uh, you need to do an interview on him because he he, he he really is like a lot of he slept on. I, I, I'm gonna just keep it real because that's my home. He slept on. Like a lot of people don't really, you know what I'm saying, notice it. I mean, they right. see it because it's right in their face, like constantly. Right. But I just feel like Man, that dude, he, he's so talented. Like, he know how to do the movie, the web series that I'm doing right now, he's behind <laughs> the camera and on the camera. Right. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how's you shooting a movie and right. you in it? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even my podcast, like, you know, he's uh he's the cameraman behind that. And he's also one of the dopest artists in Youngster. Like, and speaking right. on that web series, another thing that we want to put out there too is, we're doing this on, you know, just a shoestring budget, working all the, the legwork ourselves, the camera work, everything is done through Kid Rich, and it's an organic script. We're just, we have like a free-flowing narrative. T slide came up with an idea, and we just kind of freestyle these scenes to make them look as authentic as possible. We okay. don't have a written script. We have a, a, a theme for that scene. T slide will explain, you know, what he wants to project in the scene. Kid Rich will have his artistic contributions, contributions about what angles we should use, the lighting, everything. The like team that. is and, dope, bro. And we come together and, it, and it, the script evolves in the moment, you know, and so it comes out raw and we want there to be little misspeaks and things like that because that's how it would happen in real life. So right, it's right. Very authentic. You right, know, and that is Vito. His name is Vito. Yeah, play Vito. Yeah. His yeah. name is Vito. V-E-D-O? No, Vito, V-I-T-O. V-I-T-O. Yeah. Okay. Gurbani. Okay. Gurbani. Okay. So be looking out for him. He, he's like the Tommy in the power. Okay. Right? Like, he's 10 times over Tommy. Like, he's oh, wow. Like well, yeah, yesterday. he's really he, messy. Okay. The, the character that I was trying to bring out of him, like, he aced it right there on the spot. Like, oh, boom. wow. And I was like, get in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it, yeah. it really happened like that, Sharon. Like, it really did, like. But it was a process even getting it out of me, though, because I had never done it. And, you know, it, it took a little minute to get into that element and to convey it the way you wanted it conveyed. Right. And he did it. He did it. But that was... But, like, yeah, was be nice. looking out for that, too. Be looking out for that. It's called The Streets Ain't Safe, uh, starring um, t Slot, Okay. Uh, Kid Rich, uh, Tim Overman. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of other people in there, too, like... I got a shout out to them too. Like, okay, that's what's up. So, um, what is your favorite song to perform? I, I can't stand you. Why would you say that to me? Like, because now I got to pick one. Yeah. I got to pick one. I, everybody always, you know what? I'm going to say Big Stepper is the most loved by yeah, the fans. Yeah, Big Stepper. I'm going to say Big Stepper because I get to do my little dancing. It, okay. it comes with a dance. I, uh, I created like a, a cult following. A, <laughs> For real. I he mean, said a cult following. Cult <laughs> nah, I created like a, a, a challenge on TikTok. It's okay. called Big Step a Challenge. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 I showed them how, how, to, how I do my dance, man. It's so many people send me their videos. Oh, wow. We had a winner. We had a winner in the beginning of this year. I gave them a free ticket to my next show. Oh, that uh, was amazing. Starring, they'll be starring, they'll be doing the big stepper inside the big stepper video. Okay. You know, and I gave them a hundred dollars cash. That too, was so. nice. A way to give back. That yeah. was amazing. And plus, yeah, this, that helps you, uh, you know, when you have different contests and things like that, that just helps bring more people to know who you right. are. Right. So, they see so. we having fun. They see we doing all this stuff. We, 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 we want to work with other people, you know. Yeah. We want to, and we're bringing a lot of people in the city together. Yeah, yeah. we are. In a positive way. Awesome. Yeah. Really a great way to capitalize on that on that on the on the social media. 